Hello and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we have much to discuss including Taylor Swift's shows in Portugal, Jason's funny comments about Travis Kelsey's jeans and why Taylor's cats may be involved, what we can expect maybe from the Spain shows that start very, very soon. Let's just jump right in. Okay, First thing is first, let's talk about the fact that Jason is making fun of Travis Kelsey on the internet in a way that involves Taylor Swift, I suppose. So if you've missed it on Twitter, well, let's backtrack for a second. Travis Kelsey this past weekend was not in Portugal like some people predicted. Taylor and Travis did not go to the Monaco GP Grand Prix this past weekend either, despite reports. A lot of rumors floating around. None of them ended up to be true because Travis was in Dallas over the weekend, spending some quality time with his very good friend, Patrick Mahomes, and attending a handful of sporting events. He went to the Dallas hockey game, I believe on Friday night. Then he and Patrick and Patrick's wife, Brittany Mahomes, and then their other teammate, Hollywood Brown, hit up the Dallas Mavericks game the next night. So Travis is just out and about having fun in Dallas. And in true Travis fashion, no pun intended, he was wearing some interesting pants. Okay, now these pants were, they were jeans, but they had all these little cuts in them, like just all over the jeans, just a bunch of tiny little cuts. Interesting choice. I'm not going to judge Travis for his for his fashion. Everyone can wear what they want to wear. Um, but they were interesting. So Jason, being the big older brother that he is, decided to make a little fun of Travis on the on the internet. So somebody tweeted, what the F did Taylor's cats do with his jeans? And by his jeans, this person meant Travis's jeans. Obviously, Taylor has three cats. Cats are known for scratching, clawing, creating some holes, rips, in clothing, in couch cushions, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Jason saw this joke on the internet and reposted it, adding, now that's funny. And we know that Jason and Travis have complete opposite tastes in fashion. Jason wears, when when he was playing football and going into the stadium, he'd be wearing shorts, a t-shirt, and flip-flops. Dad, dad outfit to the max. Travis, on the other hand, is always decked out in some sort of designer garb, a matching set. He's out there. He's trying things. He's experimenting with his fashion. I don't know that you could find two people who are on more polar opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of fashion than Travis and Jason. But I just love that um, Jason made fun of his brother on the internet and then and that Taylor's cats <laughs> were also involved. There were some rumors that Travis was maybe with Taylor like during the week in between her shows in Sweden and her shows in Portugal that maybe they spent some time together during that period of time. Definitely possible. Um, but he was not at the shows this week, uh, which were two shows, which is kind of interesting. I feel like Taylor typically on this tour has performed three to four shows in any given chunk of time. But for Portugal, it was just two shows, which is probably kind of nice to have a little bit less to do. Um, honestly, she probably woke up on Sunday and was like, I feel great. I feel refreshed. I feel ready to go. But as always, we have to go through and discuss the surprise songs that she performed because really the surprise songs are just becoming, for me at least, the highlight of the show because she's willing to do whatever she wants to do. She is mash mashing songs up. She's just, she's doing whatever she wants. And I think it is incredible. So for the first night of Portugal. She did a mashup of three songs that honestly, when I saw this, I thought, oh my God, because these are actually three songs that I really love. One song in particular, I've always been hoping would be a song she performed at my show. Maybe she still will, who knows, but she did a mashup of Come Back, Be Here, which is a bonus track, extra track off of Red. And I really love that song. The Way I Loved You, which is one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs and The Other Side of the Door. Three songs that are are like elite. I love. And the fact that she mashed them all up together. Oh my God. The very It's the very first time she's ever performed The Way I Love You, which is crazy because that song is so good. I'm just, I was very, very jealous of people who got to hear that. Then she performed Fresh Out the Slammer, which I've been having like a new, like a... Renaissance kind of with that song. 
initially it was like maybe lower on my list of songs on TTPD, but recently I've like found it again in a weird way and I really love this song a lot. So this combination of surprise songs for the first night in Portugal, very, very, very jealous. But then second night, I think this may go down as one of the most difficult losses in terms of the surprise songs that we've ever seen. So she first performs the Torture Poets Department, the title track off of the Torture Poets Department. Great song, good song, makes sense. Again, she's kind of working through that whole album. It seems like every show, at least one of the, the, the surprise songs is a song from that album. Makes total sense. But then she does a mashup of You're On Your Own Kid and Long Live. Why isn't this mashup in the actual tour? That's what I'm asking myself. I know that she is not really mixing eras, except for now she is mixing Folklore Evermore. But oh my gosh, this mashup needs to be a part of the actual set list. Long Live, I think, the fact that she had it, she didn't have it in the set list and she had it, then she took it out again, I think is kind of devastating for fans because that really is a fan favorite song. But You're On Your Own Kid is also very much a fan favorite song. And the fact that she played them together, oh my gosh, I, I saw this on the internet and I was like, ugh. That would just be so great to get those as your surprise songs. I'm I'm very, very jealous of everyone who's gotten to experience um, the Portugal shows because both nights, very, very strong in terms of the surprise songs. Now, we don't have to wait that long for Taylor to go back on tour because, again, she performed on Friday, Saturday. So she had Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off. She is then heading back on tour Wednesday tomorrow. So it's a quick turnaround. And this is the, I feel like this is the earliest she started a run of shows in a long time. Um, so she's playing in Spain starting tomorrow. We know that Ryan Reynolds is going to be in Spain for one of the shows at the very least. Will other people join him? Will Travis Kelsey join? Will who knows who will join? I, I really feel like for Travis, we, we, he's talked a lot about wanting to be there in London. And I know that's like three weeks away. So maybe he'll go back and forth or go for some other shows. But um, I definitely, definitely think we will see him when London comes around. Will he be there for these other shows? We'll have to wait and see. Um, But excited to see Ryan Reynolds. Excited to see maybe who else shows up for these shows. And obviously excited to break down the surprise songs, what she ends up singing, all that good stuff. Because... This is really, you know, this is a fun stuff to to break down. And if you have any guesses or surprises or like things you think that she might perform, leave them in the comments. Please let me know as always. And that is our show for today. If you haven't subscribed to our new channel, our new sports channel, A Fast Break, I'll link it in the description. Please go ahead and do so if you love sports. If you know people who love sports, share it with them. We're gonna cover basically everything that happens in the world of sports for the next, well, who knows when. Um, But if you love sports, I think it's the channel for you. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure to do so if you love Taylor Swift. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.